I think for many of us, we hear the term spiritual formation and maybe aren't even totally clear what oh that is or how that relates to <laughs> life in church. Or uh, could you just begin at the most basic well, level think for of me? Paul's words in Galatians, I am in travail. Now that's a birthing image. Mm. I am in travail until Christ be formed in you. Mm. That's what we mean when we talk about spiritual formation, the forming. Now, everybody has a spiritual formation. Mm. The problem is that a lot of times it's not very good. Mm. It is a deformation. Mm. And so there needs to be a reformation, mm. a reformation of heart and mind and spirit. Mm. And that's really what we mean. We mean taking on the, the process of taking on the character of Christ-likeness. Mm. Now, there's a whole way of thinking, a whole theology behind all of that that involves the body, the mind, the spirit, the soul, all of these kinds of things. And uh, it's important to for us to think through a theology for spiritual growth. You remember when Peter in his little epistle said, grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Mm. Now, many people can make no sense out of a verse like that because they think of grace as unmerited favor, and mm. it is that. Mm. But it is so much more than that. I mean, how do you grow mm. in unmerited favor? Mm. You don't. But there is a, see, God inviting us into a participatory relationship in which we learn to grow in grace. Mm. It isn't just uh, sinners mm. who need grace. Mm -hmm. The saint needs grace way more. I mean, the, the, the follower of Jesus consumes grace mm. like a 747 consumes fuel mm. on takeoff. Yeah. 